Okay, Pastor Bob's gone too far. He's picking on my music now. Why, yes, I am. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. I have been forgiven. It's one of our mugs. And uh, that and our new poster, which is so cool. Quit playing the church and be the church. Free download. You can get them both right here. We are metal. We are family dot com and uh, our coffee and all the other cool stuff. Well, here's the question for today. Dear Pastor Bob, what do you think about bands like O oh Sleeper and impending doom that use emblems that have an appearance of satanic imagery. I'm personally a fan of both, and I am personally a fan of both too, by the way. Um, and I know their emblems have Christian meanings, but I feel like I'm going back and forth on this because I don't want to give off a wrong image by wearing their merchandise. I fully understand. <laughs> you know, this is one of my pet peeves, to be honest with you. And I just wish that we could sharpen this line a little more because I think it gets a little blurry from time to time. You know, you look at some imagery in Christian music and it kind of looks satanic from people who don't know any better. Now, let me clarify what I mean by that. I've been involved with Christian metal since the very beginning. I'm one of the pioneers. I understand it. I love it. I embrace it. It's one of my babies. <laughs> but uh, I realize that sometimes we get a little close to that line. And I think that can be a little dangerous, can be a little deceiving. And it seems like there are bands, and I'm not saying that they're, these two bands are that way, but there are bands that say, I wonder how close to the edge we can get without falling over. Yeah. And then also there are a lot of people who aren't into metal who simply do not understand. So bands like Oh Sleeper and Pending Doom if you're into metal, you know what they're doing and there's nothing satanic about it. If you're not into metal, you would look at it and say, mm, I don't know about that band. For me, if I were to wear a shirt from one of these bands, I'd wear it to a metal concert or to a place where metalheads hang out. Would I wear it to a traditional church or to the grocery store? Probably not because people wouldn't understand, and I don't have an opportunity to explain it to them. See, that's one of the problems. Now, there's a reason I chose this mug today to drink out of, because everything that we do, everything we proclaim should be, I have been forgiven, Jesus died on the cross, should be a very positive mes message, not a negative one or not a confusing one, it ought to be clear. Well, I'm going to go to Romans 12 too. And if you have your Bibles, you know, turn with me if you would. Uh, this is a scripture we've gone through many times and we will again. And, you know, you probably noticed by now, there are some scriptures I use over and over and over again. And I do that for a reason, because I want you to get very used to these particular scriptures that need to pop up in your head whenever you need to use them. And this is one of them. Romans 12, 2, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Great scripture. And conforming to the world can be part of this. Now, let me read this from the Amplified. That's when we get serious. Do not be conformed to this world, this age, fashioned after or adapted to its external superficial customs, 
but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitudes, so that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you. Now, that kind of says it all, doesn't it? I'm about to sneeze, and so I'm trying not to. <laughs> Something in the air this morning. But see, this is important, folks, because we need to not just support a band. We need to make sure that our message is clear. And uh, I'm not a guy that says, oh, I don't understand metal, and so therefore I think this looks satanic. I am not that guy. I've been involved with this way too long, and I've been involved with helping to design album covers that might be a little controversial, very controversial, from the beginning. So I get this, but I also get that we have to have a clear line, not a blurry line that we have to represent Jesus Christ above a band, that we have to make sure that our portrayal of him is always clear and always precise. So what would I do in this situation? I would wear an old sleeper or a, or an impending doom um, t-shirt, but I'd wear it to the right place. I wouldn't wear it to the grocery store I wouldn't wear it to a traditional church. I wouldn't wear it to a nursing home. See what I'm saying? Where people don't understand or are going to get the wrong opinion because I'm not representing Christ at that point. I just think this is really important. And folks, we're gonna be talking more and more about this because there are some very serious things going on in the name of Jesus Christ that I have a lot of problems with. Things within the hipster movement, things within some of the, the new church movements that I think should be sounding an alarm for us. And uh, opinionated Pastor Bob is going to be talking about it more and more this week. So uh, it's right there. Anyway. That's what I have to say. If you haven't signed up yet for our email, please do that with being ramped down on social media. And people say, why are you being ramped down? And I really don't know. I think a lot of Christian ministries are. Uh, definitely political people are, especially if they're on the right. They're being not just ramped down, but uh, taken off. And now Christians are kind of going through the same thing. And it it's been difficult and I have a fraction of the people watching me uh, at this point that I did. So um, we want to make sure that we don't lose everybody just in case we lose our so social media. We'll be uh, announcing some new social media accounts soon on some new platforms, but you can always find us on our website, sanctuaryinternational.com. And that's where you can sign up for the email list. And I just sent the first one out yesterday. A new email every week. And uh, I'm excited to keep you going on things that are happening. And by the way, in the email, there's a 10% off code on our store. I know. It's worth it, huh? <laughs> and what's the code? Well, you got to sign up for the email. There you go. So folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.